Hi, this is Industrial Surplus. Uh, today we're in a uh, facility located in Savannah, Georgia, where we are going to demonstrate an Akuma MA50HB four axis CNC horizontal machining center with a 500 millimeter uh, twin pallet, 50 uh, tapered spindle, coolant through the spindle, uh, Renishaw probing systems, 40 position tool changer. Uh, new in 2001. I will uh, do a quick walk through, uh, show you the machine. This is uh, one of the pallets, some of the picturing they had on there, clamping. Machine serial number is 0522, has an OSP. Uh, 100U or OSP U100M control. Color screen graphics. Twelve thousand RPM spindle speed. Cool it through the spindle. If I hadn't mentioned it, the spindle is on. Super quiet. Really smooth. A little dirty because of the chips, but it's in uh, perfect running condition. Here's the second pallet. Part of the Renishaw tool probe. Got a floodlight, work light. Another part of the probe system down there. Linear guideways has uh, dual chip conveyors in the machine. Floppy disk drive. I have all the uh, original discs for the machine, all the manuals, well-maintained, well-supplied machine. I'll open the doors here. Give you an idea of the electrical. Everything is in great shape, connected. Chip conveyor back here. Cooling system back here. I don't know if we can read it, but that's the uh, machine tag. For uh, demonstration purposes, we're bypassing the uh, safety interlock on the door, but that's just to uh, dry demo the machine. And uh, I'll show you the tool changer area inside this cage. 40 position tool changer, CAT 50 tooling. Safety interlock on that as well. Can't open the cage, but it's, uh, it's all in there. Some tool holders, not a full set, but some. Back side of the machine showing the coolant tank. Again, the dual chip conveyors. I wish I had better light. Uh, here's the uh, back side of the spindle. See part of the linear way system. So we will uh, go ahead and uh, do some movements and some spindle speeds. We'll do a tool change and a pallet change. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do first? Spindle speeds? Uh, speeds. Right now we're uh, programmed at 4500 RPM and we're overriding that. That is just 
just humming beautifully. Yep. We'll uh, go ahead and do a tool change. And we could uh, move some axis. Uh, we're uh, not familiar with the program that's in the machine and the tooling that's in there in conjunction with having a part mounted in the uh, fixture. So we're not going to do a uh, part program at this point. But we do want to just at least let you know the machine's up and running. Uh, it's in great condition. It does move uh, very smoothly. All the axes are functioning. Full fourth axis. do a pallet change now. We hope. We didn't have the uh, the door closed on the outside, so that was my fault. Orient the uh, pallet. Pallet change now. All right, and uh, Y axis, I guess. Or Bring the spindle in, maybe we can uh, go into a little bit different higher range of some sort. Not much higher, but a little higher. This will be uh, 6,000 at 100%. Turn your light in there. A little better. There's a gear change to be done to go to 6,000. Five thousand. 
man, this thing just pumps. It is just really nice. the machine if uh, you guys have any questions and uh, would like to see this machine while it's still on the floor we uh, do plan to move this machine uh, I'd say within uh, the next month uh, month of June now would be the time to uh, take advantage of that okay thank you very much